what's up guys I'm so excited to finally start my YouTube video and show y'all what I eat on a daily basis on keto to lose weight today we're gonna be making these stuffed bell peppers they're very easy fast and delicious this is what I first started off eating when I first started keto so let's get to the video so the first ingredients you're gonna need are two to three bell peppers you can use red green yellow or orange I like the yellow you need ground sausage I get hot you can use mild or regular one can of Rotel original one block of cream cheese softened and a mix of cheeses I have cheddar Monterey Jack and Kobe Jack so the next thing you want to do is cut your bell peppers you can clean them out and you're gonna set them in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes I cook them um, ahead of time because I don't like my bell peppers crunchy so you're gonna just clean them out once you're done cleaning all of them out you're gonna just drizzle some olive oil on them So once you have them all cleaned out like this, you just lay them on a cookie sheet or a glass pan, whatever you have, and you drizzle them with olive oil. And you put them in the oven at 425 for 20 minutes. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 425. oven at 425 for 20 minutes until they're tender. So as the peppers are in the oven cooking you want to take your sausage, put it in a hot pan, and get that all nice and browned. Make sure you break it up really good. And once you have this fully brown, you want to take your cream cheese and dump that in there. Break it all up. Make sure it melts all together. And then you take your can of Rotel, make sure you drain the liquid, and you dump it in there. And you just wait till it cooks all together, it's fully combined. Once you have it all melted together like this, you're going to stuff the bell peppers with it. Okay, after 20 minutes, you're going to pull the bell peppers out of the oven, and you're going to get the mixture we just made and stuff them. Okay, after 20 minutes, once the bell peppers are nice and fragile and not crunchy, you want to stuff them with the mixture we made. Just get as much as you want in there. I like them extra stuffed. Once you have them stuffed, you're going to take your cheese mixture and you're going to top that. And then you're going to put them back in the oven for about four minutes and you're going to broil them and get them nice and crispy on top. You want to put it on broil at 500 for about four minutes until they're browned on top. After a couple of minutes, once they're nice and crispy like this, you take them out, let them cool down, and then they're ready to eat. 